Hello, hello, good evening class. How are you guys? Welcome. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, Carmen, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, and you? Excellent, very good. Yeah, I was waiting for you. Lady, hello, lady. Hi, Miss, how are you? Fine, you, how was your day? Uh, <laughs> tired, a lot of work. <laughs> okay, well, so we're going to have a nice class today. Uh, Rafael, hello, Rafael, how are you? Hello, I'm fine, thank you, teacher. And how was your day? Ah. <laughs> Poco pesado. <laughs> so heavy. Okay. Um, Rosa, hello, Rosa. So you look suspicious hello. today. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, I'm great. <laughs> okay. Uh, Rene, hello, Oscar. Sí, sí, muy, very good. Very good. Okay. Uh, Diana, sí. Maribel, hello, Diana, Fernando. Clelia, turn on your cameras. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. I cannot see you. Turn on your cameras. Vamos a ver, chicos. Vamos activando las camaritas. Ya los quiero ver. Um, let's see. We have uh, Miguel. Miguel, what's connecting? Okay. So we're going to start with the class. And just give me a couple of seconds. So you're ready for the challenge for today? Are you ready? <laughs> yes, right. Okay. Sure. <clears throat> okay, this is our session number four, and today is January the 30th. Okay, so don't forget the evaluations by the end of this week, right? You have, well, by the end of the week, you have to um, complete uh, all of uh, the section number one, all of that activities. Okay, so now let's continue. Uh, please, Rene, help me out with the agenda for today. So what's going to happen? My agenda? Mm -hmm. So can you see my presentation? No, not yet? Oh, uh, excuse me. Okay, session four. Read me. Uh -huh. Read it, please. Read it. Yeah, okay. Warn warning, warming up to CA's class. Objective. Class? Uh -huh. Ah, it's L. It's oh, well. Yeah, it's L. <laughs> <laughs> class objectives. Yo pensé que hacía CIA. Well, uh, we never know. Probably. <laughs> free task how to use be going to for tax pre preparation exercise. Find task conversation. Six workup. Seven assignment English corporativo dot com dot net. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. So we're going to talk about uh, we're going to and we're going to have some nice activities. So you're ready for the warming up. So instructions, listen up. Hey guys, uh, one question. Can you hear me? Se escucha bien, chicos, o me dicen si se escucha cortado. Probablemente yeah, si se escucha cortado en algunos momentos, me avisan para bueno, voy a tener que apagar la cámara en algunos momentos por si eso sucede. Me avisan. Uh, mis audífonos no no se conectan se oyen al laptop. Creo no. que es así. ¿Y los demás, chicos? ¿Todo bien? Sí, me escucha bien. Ok, perfecto. So the instructions. So you only have two instructions. Sí, se escucha the, bien. Uh, no working individually, participate actively, and have fun. So that's the instruction. Listen up. We're going to practice with a tongue twister. So do you know what a tongue twister is? Vamos a practicar aquí con un pequeño trabalenguas. Have you seen that before? Ya lo han visto antes. Yes, no. No, no. No, this is the first time. Okay, so listen up. We're going to read the lines together and later on, uh, you're going to read it alone, okay? 
So we're going to start with line number one. I'm going to read it first and later you're going to read that, okay? Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. You got it? Yes? So, so? Okay, again, listen up. Okay, pay attention. Uh, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. How you doing, Rene? Okay, voy a voy a intentarlo. Okay. Peter Piper picked a peck a peck of pickled peppers. Okay, you're doing good. Let's see. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Okay, second line. A peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked. So try to repeat that, okay? A peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked. Again, a peck. So a peck means un puño, un puño de pimientos. A peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked. Que ya le estaba recogiendo pimientos por ahí. Chile. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, if Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Okay, so we're going to do it line by line again. So listen up and try to repeat that, okay? Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. 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 You got it? How you doing? Very good. Improving? Yes. Ya vamos mejorando? Yes. Okay, very good. So let's continue. A peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked. A peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked. Okay, next line. If Peter Piper, if, if Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, if Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, again, if Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck? Where's, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? ¿A dónde están los pimientos que recogió? Vamos a ver, let's see. I need a volunteer. Who wants to do it? Let's see. Volunteer. Somebody, let's see. Or do I select somebody? Okay, Rosa. Rosa, very good. Okay. Go ahead, you can do it. Okay. Peter Piper picked a pick of pickle paper. A pack of pickled paper, peppers, Peter Piper picket. If Peter Piper, Piper picket a pack of pickled peppers, where's the pack of pickled peppers, Peter oh. Piper picket? Okay, yeah. very good, excellent. It was very good. Picked. Just check this this one. Peter Piper picked. A peck of pickled peppers. So and if you can do it faster, you can start doing it. So, but first, got the pronunciation. Primero, um, escuchemos ahí bien cómo se pronuncia. Ya después ustedes lo van haciendo más rápido, okay? Okay, again, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Second line, a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Okay, it's like D, picked, not pick it, picked, picked. Okay, thank you. Let's see, Rosa, very good. Let's see, um, Veronica, Veronica, I think, no, Oscar, Oscar, okay, Oscar, Rene. I tried, I tried. Okay, go ahead. Peter Piper picked it. A peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers. Peter, Peter, pickle. If 
Peter Pickles Peter if Peter Picker Pickles a pack of pickle peppers worth the pack of pickle peppers Peter Peter Pickle. Okay. Picked. Excellent. Very good, Rene. Let's see somebody else. Let's see somebody else. Or let's see, Rene. Select somebody. Select a victim. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um Diana. Uh -huh. oh, no, yeah. uh, no, 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 hay ninguna Diana. Yes, no, uh, we have Diana, lady. Diana Maribel. Diana, hello, Diana. You there? Turn on your cameras. No lo veo, chicos. O sea, ya está Diana por acá. Diana, here. Ahí está. Okay, Diana, help us. Can you read that tongue twister? Peter. Piper. Uh -huh. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled papers. A pack of pickled papers. Peter. Piper, Piper picked. Okay. Piper. If Peter Piper pickled a pack of pickled papers, where's the pack of pickled papers? Peter. Perfecto. Excellent. Very good, Diana. Nice. Nice. Nice job. So that's the way how you're going to master and how you're going to learn. Let's see, uh, Diana, please select a classmate. Select somebody. Mm, Elena. Elena. Okay, Elena. You ready, Elena? Let's see where is Elena. Yes. Peter paper. Pick a pack of pickle paper. A pack of pickled paper, Peter paper pick. If Peter paper pick a pack of pickled papers, where's the pack of pickled paper, Peter paper pick. Okay, thank you, very good. Look at these peppers. The peppers, the ones that you get in Pizza Hut, right? It says peppers. Okay, let's see, Um, please. Elena, select uh, a classmate. Lady. Lady, okay. Lady. Pe Peter Piper pick up pack of pickled peppers. A pack of pickled peppers, Peter Piper pick up. If Peter Piper pick up a pack of pickled peppers, where is the pack of pickled peppers, Peter Piper pick up? Okay, very good. What's Kind of fast. Uh, well, that's great. Uh, lady, please select a classmate. Let's see somebody else. Mm. Rafael Antonio. Rafael, let's see what is Rafael. Rafael, hello. Rafael, your hello. turn. Thank you. Um, Peter Piper Picker, a pick of Piper, pick, pick a Piper, a pick of Piper, Pipers, Peter Piper Pick up. If Peter Piper Pick up, a pick of Pick up Paper, where's the pack of Pick up Paper, Peter Piper Pick Baker. Okay, nice. Thank you, Rafael. Please select a classmate. Um, Voy a ver todos los integrantes. Blanca Delgado. Let's see, Blanca. Blanca. No. Okay. Okay. Aquí presente. Uh, Peter Paper pick a, um, a pack of pickled peppers. A pack of pickled peppers, Peter Piper pick. If Peter Piper pick a pack of pickled peppers. Where's the pack of pickled peppers? Peter Piper pick. Okay, very good, Blanca. Excellent. Let's see, Blanca, please um, select a classmate. We have Nina. Veronica. Okay, Veronica. Which? Ana Veronica Hernandez. Okay. 
Hi, I'm Veronica Burgos. Ah, Veronica and Burgos. Okay. Yes. No problem. <laughs> Sorry. I'm running. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> okay. It's just saying. Hey, Peter, Peter <laughs> Peep, Peeper. Pick a pick or picklet paper. Peppers. Peppers. Mm -hmm. Peppers. A pick of pickles, peppers, better, Peter Pickett. If better people pick it, a pack of pickled peppers. Where's the pack of pickled peppers? Peter, Peter, Peter pick it. Okay, nice, Veronica. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to have to, or you're going to practice the whole week. So Peter, okay. Peter, pick a pack of pickled peppers. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, yeah, probably at where you're going to read the tongue twister and they won't understand. Let's see somebody else. Um, Veronica, please uh, select a classmate. We have Daniel, let's see who else. Okay, uh, I think so. Um, Oscar Rene Molina. Oscar, let's see. No, he's done. Let's see somebody else. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. And then, uh, le, uh, lady? She's done too. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, too, lady. Uh, how about uh, Nilton? Blanca Delgado? <laughs> Blanca Delgado. Let's see. Blanca Delgado. Yo ya pasé, yo la selecciono. Pasé, sí, sí, <laughs> okay. Blanca. Uh, Ra Rafael? Rafael <laughs> is done too. <laughs> Too. Yes, probably Nilton. I haven't heard Nilton. Okay. <laughs> okay. Peter Piper pickled a pack of picker peppers. A pack of picker peppers. Peter Piper pickled. If Peter this pet Peter Pepper pickled a pack of pepper peppers. Where's the pack of pick pack pickled peppers? Peter Peter. Okay, thank you, Nilton. Let's see. Um, probably who's missing? Can I have a falta que no nos ha dicho? A ver, ¿quién nos hace falta? Okay, just uh, just to verify this. Okay, so that's the pronunciation for the verb picked in simple past. Peter Piper picked, picked. Repeat that with me, picked, picked, okay? Picked. No more pick it, okay? Picked, picked. A pick, mm -hmm. a pick of pickled pick peppers, peppers. A pick of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked, okay? Again, picked, picked. Peter Piper picked. A pack of pickled peppers. Where's the pack of pickled peppers? Peter Piper picked. Okay. You got it? Yes. Okay. So how do you pronounce this uh, verb? How do you pronounce this? This picker? Picked. Okay. Picked. Excellent. Very good. Picked. Okay. Now let's continue. So, um, well, the assignment is that <laughs> you're going to pr continue practicing with that tongue twister. So it helps us in such a way that you can improve your pronunciation with a P sound, probably. And uh, you develop some other abilities, right? Okay, so we're going to check some vocabulary, guys. Uh, can you see my uh, presentation? Can you see the vocabulary? Yes, tell me. Okay, can you see the vocabulary? Mailing address? Yes. The, mm, the address at which a person of your business receives letters of package. Packages. Of uh -huh. Packages, which can be different from the place where they work or live. Okay, example. <clears throat> what is your mailing address at your new home? Okay. Questions about the mailing address. Do you have a mailing address? Yes. 
Yes, right? So the address which a person or business receives letters or packages, which can be different from the place where they work or live. Uh, the next one, lady, help us with shipping address. Uh, shipping address implies the port where the goods are unloaded, moved from a port to a truck. Okay, so implies the port where the goods are unloaded, moved from a port to a truck. Okay, and the next one. So unloaded, what's the meaning? The port where the goods or the products are unloaded. Donde los productos son descargados. Se mueven de un puerto a un, bueno, a un camión, ¿verdad? Para enviarlo a su destino. Okay, let's see. Um, René, please help us with the production date or manufacture date. Okay. Mm -hmm. Production date. Manufacture date is, is the date when the product was manufactured. This number indicates how many months the products can be safely used for after opening. Okay, so the production date, la fecha de producción, is the day when the product was manufactured. Uh, this number indicates how many months the product can be safely used for after opening. Okay, is that clear, guys? These three concepts, are they clear? Yes. So. So, so. <laughs> well, the thing is that this is related to the book. <laughs> but uh, probably in some cases, if you work um, as an engineer, probably as an in industrial engineer, Probably you use these terms, mailing address, shipping address, production date, and some other stuff like this. But it's for you to know about a little bit about these uh, terms. So uh, I want you to take a screenshot. Probably you're, we're going to use that in, with the book later on, okay? Okay, and right now we're going to continue with some incentive questions. We're going to discuss that together. So let's see, we're going to check the previous knowledge. Do you remember what was the previous topic? What was the previous topic? Lady, what do you remember about the topic that we studied last week? This one. The model can, right? Can so you repeat, please? Okay, lady, uh, can you read the first question? Okay, okay. At what age can people drive in your country? So what do you think, guys? At what age can people drive age. in El Salvador? What age? 16. So what's 15. 15? Yes. 15, yes. okay. Eight. With the special for permission. Ah, okay. A special special. permission. 15 years or 16? 15. Ah, okay. Okay. Nice. Second question. Well, probably. I didn't know about it. I just know that um, they can drive at the age of 17, but I'm not really sure. I need to study again that. <laughs> Yes, we have to study again the rules. Well, <laughs> second question, Veronica. Can you read the second question? Okay. Which students in our class can tell funny jokes? Yes, tell me. Guys, tell me. Funny jokes. Can somebody funny tell funny jokes? O sea, que ya se conocen desde hace tiempo. Tienen cuatro módulos juntos. Nobody, nobody. Lady, what do you think? Oscar, Rosa, Rafael, who tells the jokes in here? Nobody. Come on, guys. I can't believe it. You're not too serious. You don't look like <laughs> too serious. Okay, let's see. Um, well, 
we're going to say that Renee now, right? <laughs> okay, question three, Renee. Can you read question three? Yes. Uh, can you remember what you were dreaming about last night? Mm -hmm. Can you remember that, guys? Somebody? What did you dream last night? Veronica, Blanca, Carlos, Miguel? So what do you dream? I don't. Oh yes, Rafael, egg and H. That's different. H. Mm -hmm. Are you comparing Rafael egg and H? Rafael? Ahí está comparando las dos palabras, egg and H? No. Uh, yes. Ah, yes, okay. pronunciation uh, similar. No, it's different. The one is egg, egg, and the other one is age, age, para la edad, age, this one, uh, this okay. one, and what age? Okay, let's see, uh, so if you don't remember what you dreamed last night, ¿quién se recuerda que soñó ayer? ¿Qué soñaron ayer, chicos? ¿No soñaron? Um, I not remember. You don't remember I, somebody. I'm very tired. I'm very tired. Don't dream. Okay. So you didn't dream. Well, mm -hmm. okay, let's see. Um, what six animals can eat you? So what do you think? Can you mention some? Blanca, what do you think? What six okay. animals can eat you? Mention one. One uh, animal. Six animals can eat you. Uh, chicken, turkey, turkey. No, they, look, look at the question. What six animals can eat you? I can eat. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> A lion. <laughs> A lion. Okay. <laughs> what else, uh, Rene? What do you think? <laughs> what? What? Book. A dog. A dog. A dog. Lady. A dog. Oh, okay. Brown. Tiger. <laughs> well, tiger. Tiger. Okay. Tiger. Miguel. Wolf. Wolf. Uh huh. Rafael. Veronica Hernandez. Veronica. Question What six? One animal that can eat you? Leon. A lion. <laughs> okay. A and crocodile. Snake, zebra, a zebra, <laughs> bear, oh, bear, bear. Okay. Um. Let's see. Blanca, what do you think? Blanca Delgado. Um, the tiger. Yeah. <laughs> well, the snake. A snake. A snake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I have seen some here in El Salvador. Big snakes. Um, can you make a sound like a bird or an animal, guys? Can you? Let's see, like a bird. Like bird turtle. Okay, can you do it? <laughs> the chicken. <laughs> okay, how does the chicken make that so sound? So can you do the sound? Okay, chicken. Yes. <laughs> Example. <laughs> okay, let's see. Next question. So, can you say hello in other languages, guys? So can you say that in another language? Hello. Okay. Hola. Hello. Okay, what else? Blanca, Julio. Hola, Hola en, en español. Hola en español, ok. <laughs> Fernando. Konichiwa. Konichiwa, Carmen, Elena. Let's see, I'm investigating your likes. Uh, Aloha. Al Aloha. Elena, Elena, what do you think? Can you, uh, can you say hello in another language? No. No, French, Chinese. Marlene, no. no. Okay. Italian. Veronica, how about you, Veronica? This one. No. Uh, mm. 
No, no ya, no. but in the future. Blanca Delgado. Hello, en alemán. No, yo dije hola, ¿no? Ah, ya. Yeah. Hay otra, Hello. otra, yo no puedo. Hello, en alemán, Ah, uh, excuse me, can you repeat it? Hello. Hello. En, en alemán. Ciao, bonjour, ah, no sé. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's see. The next one. Why Konnichiwa can chickens... En japonés. Yes, can you repeat it? Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Okay, nice. Uh, well, I'm going to skip this one. That doesn't make sense for me. Can you remember what we studied in our last English class? Do you remember? Lady? Rosa? Oscar? Why can chickens fly? No, this one. So can you remember what we studied in our last English class? Guys, do you remember? Yes, I remember play games. <laughs> you, that we played games. Yes. <laughs> and what was the topic? Yes. And the topic, Rosa? Rafael? I remember in a, in... Kent y Kent. <laughs> okay, nice. Can and can't. Okay. Have to, have to, e, has, has to. Uh -huh. Okay, have to, has to, don't have to, I, and doesn't. Okay, perfect. I remember the tongue girl twist. The tongue twister. Okay, countable, countable nouns and uncountable nouns. Okay, look at this. Um, I'm going to give you, I'm going to assign you to work in pairs and you're going to discuss the following questions. Look at this. How many languages can you speak? What can you do that most people can't? I can't fly. No. Well, I can't, right? What can you do that most people can do? I can play the piano, for example, or I can speak another language. What sounds can you sing? And you give a demonstration to your classmate. Okay. Yourself. It's included. So you have to give the demonstration. <laughs> what kinds of food can you cook? The turkey, chicken, mention the um, specialty that you can cook, right? Mencionen ahí los especiales que pueden cocinar para el Día de la Madre, Navidad, and all, right? Or just uh, coffee. What can you do that make yourself feel happy? What can you do to improve your English? And that's all, okay? So you're ready for the speaking activity. I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms. Ready? You're going to have uh, like three to five minutes, okay? Ready? You ready, guys? Ready. Okay, so please discuss the questions. Just discuss that, okay? I don't ready. <laughs> I'm not ready. I'm ready. I'm, uh... Okay. Okay, let's go. Please join the breakout rooms, guys, and see you in a moment. Um, eighteen, eighteen. Okay. 
Which student in your class can tell funny jokes? Uh, so she or object and a middle class. <laughs> okay. Can you remember what you dreamed about the last night? I don't know. Uh, I also sleep uh, profound. <laughs> Es blanca. Eso es en el grupo. Bueno, uno preguntó si era solo de ley. Dice, vamos a elegir una, dice, pregunta y tenemos que demostrar que se lo podemos hacer. Solo la discutirán. Ah, pues solo la vamos a discutir. Oh, ok. Para mí son las fáciles. No se dice, what can you do to sell you happy. Esa línea está otra. No, no, solamente la vamos a repasar, ¿verdad, teacher? Hello, hello, yes. Solo lo vamos a repasar, digamos, yo te las pregunto a ti, tú me dices tus respuestas, tú se las preguntas a Blanca y Blanca te dice las respuestas y luego Blanca me las pregunta a mí y yo le digo las respuestas a Blanca y practicamos. Okay. Voy a preguntar primera y me lo responde Blanca y después tú preguntas segunda y te, y te lo responde ella y así vamos turnando. Okay. How many languages can you speak? I can speak in one language. Okay. Ahora yo se las pregunto a Nilton. How many languages can you speak? Nilson, ¿qué fue? No, no, aquí estoy. No, ya. Ok, I can speak one language. In the future, I can speak two languages. No, teacher, ahí ya sería meterse en otro tema para decir, hablaré dos lenguas. Mm -hmm. Hoy lo vamos a ver. I'm going to. Ah, ok. Ahora usted pregúntele a, a la compañera Anton. Ok. Eh, Rosa. Hola, oh, yeah. Can you say hello um, in other language? Mm, no, I don't remember. I can't. Eh, you can eh, check chicken supply. I don't know. God make this. <laughs> Can you remember? My. Okay, like that. Yeah. What can you do to improve your English? Wait, what can you do to improve your English? No sé qué significa improve. Mejorar. 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 Preparar. Mejorar. Mejorar. What can you do? Mejorar. Take a, take a class, ¿no? Take a classes. <laughs> do the homework. <laughs> do the homework, nice. <laughs> make the homework. Do, yes. do the homework, do. Yes. Do the homework. Um, and so the listen practice with the uh, classmates. And no, but the Lord, and you remember that we studied in our last English class. Ya se acuerda haber estudiado o algo así. Quizás en la misma academia, digo, de inglés. Ok. El ciclo pasado, el ciclo pasado ahí estuvimos de Perú. ¿Y cómo tradujera eso? 
and you remember that we address the ultima. Can you remember? Can you remember what who is chatter? Mm. Dice qué tipo de comidas puedes tú cocinar? What kind mm. of food? ¿Qué tipo de platos? Ah, qué tipo de, de, de qué tipo de platos puedes cocinar? Uh, pizza, and chicken, and rice. Mm. ¿Qué más? ¿Cómo se dice frijol? Eggs. No, no, no. Es, eh, beans. Bean. Beans. Beans. Con B. Beans. Hello guys, welcome back. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Hi. Okay, so we're going to continue, guys, and we're going to um, well, talk about uh, different methods that your workplace sends products or materials to others. So we're going to start with a topic for today. Look at this. Okay, so just let's wait for the rest of the classmates. <laughs> Veronica's having fun. <laughs> okay, she's working in advance. Okay, está trabajando en adelantado. Okay, now let's continue, guys. Uh, welcome back. We're going to start uh, with the topic for today, uh, and that is the usage of the going to. So we're going to discuss a little bit about the usages, and uh, well, we're going to create examples. Uh, we're going to have a lot of activities. So please, uh, I'll need a volunteer to help me uh, reading this out. Let's see, Miguel. Miguel, can you help us, Miguel? Use of be going to. We use be going to a plus plus infinity without to express mm -hmm. number predi one prediction with evidence based on some things uh, we can observe now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first usage, be going to is, uh, well, it's a special verb that we use in order to talk about predictions with evidence. So you have to have clear that two ideas. So we have prediction with an evidence based on something we can observe. So you're observing that something is going to happen example so you can observe that right so you need a proof or an evidence look so you observe right david is going to crash against 
that tree because you have the evidence, you're observing that he's going to a crash. Probably he can't drive, right? Uh, the next one, please, Carlos, help us with the second usage. Future. Carlos, Carlos. Please, Carlos. Carlos. Oh, Carlos. <laughs> let's see, it's the other one. <laughs> let's see, who's the other one? No. Future intention or plans. <laughs> To do something before speaking, we have already made a decision before speaking. Okay, so we also uh, use be going to when you want to express an intention or a plan. For example, uh, you're going to travel to Japan. So you have the intention, I'm going to learn English. You have a plan or an intention to do it before speaking, right? So we have already made a decision before speaking. Uh, it means that you have been planning that activity. I'm going to go to the beach on Sunday, but probably you have already planned that activity you you have been planning that activity for a long period of time since last year for example probablemente lo estuvo eh, planificando este con un año de antelación or probably two or three months ago a week ago but you have already made a decision i'm going to travel to japan for example so it means that i have already had the money and I also have the, um, the tickets and everything I need in order to go to Japan. So you have already made that decision before speaking. Okay, example. Uh, Rene, can you read the example? I'm going to uh, take a vacation. Uh, I'm going to take vacations, okay. And read the example, read the example, this one. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to I'm study going? law. I'm going to study law at university, university next year. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about this? Voy a estudiar leyes en la universidad el próximo año. ¿Creen que lo acaba de, acaba de tomar esa decisión o ya la planeó? So what do you think? Es una decisión ya planeada. ¿Qué piensan? Planning. It's already planned. Uh -huh. So he planned. He planned that activity. Okay, so uh, what I want you to have clear is these two usages. So remember, be going to has a special use, and we use it in order to talk about predictions based on something you can see. Okay, look. David is going to crash. Future intentions or plans. I'm going to study law at university next year. I am, I am going to study law at university next year. Question so far about it, guys. Any question? Is that information clear, guys? So we're going to check some more examples, but let me let me know if you have questions. Questions? Yes. Sir. yes. Okay, Veronica. Okay. Uh, in the second, the future intention, uh, how to think uh, are two different future. If, if the second we have already is different. No, it's the same. The same. Ajá, es, el, es un poquito de explicación yeah. de, lo, de lo que estamos dando acá arriba. Okay. It's an explanation. Um, no, it's what we mean. Future intentions or plans to do something before speaking. Y acá tenemos eh, intenciones futuras o planes para hacer algo antes de hablar. So we have already, quiere decir que nosotros ya tomamos una decisión antes de decirlo o contarlo. I'm going to study, let's see, uh, to be a priest, estudiar para ser sacerdote. Es una decisión que, por ejemplo, ya 
consideré, pensé y analicé y lo voy a hacer. So that's my intention, o ese es mi plan. So that's what we mean. ¿Sí? Verónica, sí, estamos ahí. Soso. <ríe> Dígame, ¿cómo, ¿cómo vamos ahí, chicos? ¿Es that clear? Es verdad que no ha pasado la pena. No, ya la vamos a pasar. So I'm going to give you some more examples. Okay. Probably with this one. I'm going, going to get what? I'm going mm. to get Mary. No. <laughs> <laughs> No. no, stop. No, no. <laughs> no. Okay, no, I'm not going. So I already, I, I said it again. Not I'm not going, going to, to right? <laughs> okay. So I'm not going to get married. <laughs> yes. Never. Um. So can you give me any other example? I'm going to travel. Colombia in I'm December. Going to, okay. Travel to Colombia. When? In December. In December, okay. Any other example? So what are you going to do on vacation? I'm going to go to I don't know, probably Costa del Sol, I don't know. I'm going to the beach. Mm -hmm. So you're going to go to the beach. What else? Mm -hmm. I'm going to visit my aunt. And my parents, okay, my parents. In London, let's say. Oh, yes, got you. Uh -huh, you have two, right? So what else? Um, Miguel, any idea? So what are you going to do next week? I'm going to, I'm going to go to the show, the belly dance. You're going to go to? To the show, show. Ah, the air belly show. Dance. Air show? Uh -huh. show. Air show. show. To the belly dance. Belly dance. Mm, I don't know what, what's that. <laughs> Give us some information. <laughs> I'm going to go to the show. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Going to the belly dance show. Ah, okay. okay. Belly dance show. Belly dance show this way? Yes. Okay, okay, belly dance. Next, next cool. week. Okay, excellent. Next week. So look at this. You can also use some future expression. Recuerden que también podemos utilizar expresiones futuras. Por ejemplo, next week, tomorrow, next, so year. Be, next year, any other, next month. Mm -hmm. So you can also use um, prepositions on Monday. I'm going to visit my mom on Monday. Or next weekend. Next weekend. Uh huh. Yeah. Next weekend. In three days. Okay. So you can use some uh, expressions in order to um, mention that you're going to do that in the future. Pueden utilizar también unas time expressions at the end of your sentences. Okay, so now let's continue. So that is, um, that examples are for the second usage. Esos ejemplos los usamos para eh, este segundo uso. And how about predictions? Predictions. So let's try to create some examples for predictions. So let's read the, that again. Predictions with evidence based on something we can observe now. So give me the prediction. 
She is going to prediction. Based on something that you can observe now, she's going to fall asleep. Se va a quedar dormida. She's going to fall asleep. Veamos ahí todas las cámaras. Veanme ahí todas las cámaras. ¿Quién se va a dormir? She's going to. In her cast. In her English class. Ajá. She's going to fall asleep during the English class. No, right? What else? Uh, let's see. Um, he is going to. Any other idea? So make a prediction based on an Who's error. Going to, uh -huh. to, to seek. He's going to play soccer. Okay, excellent. He's going to get sick. <laughs> Él se va a enfermar. Probably it's raining, right? It's raining. So he's going to get sick. He's, let's see. He's going to play soccer. So you're observing that he's a soccer player. So he's going to play, right? Let's see. He's going to go church. He's going to go to church. Okay. Peru lies. He's going to. So what is it? Yeah. <laughs> if it lies, it's going to take a shower. Take Thank a you, go veterinary. <laughs> okay, go to the bed. Okay. <laughs> okay, nice. So I think that's clear. A la chivo, a la chivo pet. Okay, chivo pet. To chivo pet. Okay, um, now just let me pass the attendance, please. And the, later on, we continue with some more examples. So please say present. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ana Verónica Hernández Present. Rodríguez. Thank you, Ana. Blanca Present. Isabel Tunaca. Blanca Present. Luz Delgado. Thank you, Blanca. Uh, Carlos Miguel Umaña. Carlos Miguel. Present. Present. Thank you, Miguel. Carlos Roberto Argueta. Carlos Roberto Argueta. Carmen Elena Moratayá. Present. Thank you, Carmen. Carmen Guadalupe Galvez. Carmen Guadalupe. Ah, ahí está. Ok. Clelia Estela Flores de Molina. Present. Thank you, Clelia. Daniel Alberto Ramos. Present, teacher. Thank you, Dani. Diana Maribel Hueso Portillo. Present. Thank you, Diana. Fernando Salvador Figueroa. Present. Thank you, Fernando. Jorge Luis Castaneda. Okay. Juan Ezequiel Rivera Lemos. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Present. Thank you, Julio. Lady Joana Hernández. Present. Thank you. Nilton Alexander Vázquez. Present. Thank you, Nilton. Oscar René Molina. Present, teacher. Thank you, Oscar. Rafael Antonio Hernández. Present, teacher. Thank you, Rafael. Rosa de Los Ángeles Enríquez. Present. Thank you, Rosa. And Veronica Elizabeth Burgos. Present. Awesome. Thank you so much, guys. So now let's continue. Okay, so look at this. So here you have the structures that we're going to use with these um with this verb with be going to. Uh, can you read the structure? Well, I'm going to explain that. So look at this. We have the affirmative structure: I, he, she, it, you, we, they. So remember, we always start with the subject, right? I am, or I'm, or am, right? So it sounds like something like this. I am or the contraction. Um, yes. The screenshot 
and send on the group. Which one? Please. De esto puede enviar captura, please. Ah, ok. Um, well, group. you can help me. Si alguien me puede ayudar ahí con las screenshots para que las vayamos enviando ya. Ok. So I would just want you to be careful with this. I am, I am a teacher. It's not am. Um, or am, um, the contraction, am, um, I'm a teacher, okay? I am going to work, I'm going to work, he is going to work. So remember that you have to modify, we use, we need subject, verb to be, and going to, plus a base a form of a verb. He is going to work, she is going to work, it's going to work. You're going to work, we're going to work or they are going to work. So you have the contractions for verb to be and you also have the long form. Recuerden que las contracciones las utilizamos para hacer un poquito más fluido, para hacer más fluido nuestro, eh, nuestra habla. So you can keep that. Negative, so let's look at the negative. Subject again, subject pronoun, I, he, she, it, you, we, they, Subject, right? Verb to be, look at this, with a negative form. I am not, I'm not, he's not, she isn't, right? Or it isn't. Going to work. You're not, you are not, or we aren't. Oh, we're not. Pueden utilizar también la otra. You, we're not, or we aren't not going to. Okay, questions about these two structures. Questions about these two structures, positive and negative. Is that clear, guys? Okay. So just keep in mind that structure, okay? Subject plus to be. So remember that you have to conjugate that. Subject plus to be plus going to. And then you need a base form, right? Base form. So that is for the affirmative. Negative. So what's the structure for the negative? Who can tell me? Structure for the negative, subject plus. ¿Cuál es la estructura para las negativas, chicos? Uh, not to be. Subject. Mm -hmm. subject. Okay. Subject. To be. Plus. Plus. To be. Plus. plus uh, mm -hmm. Out. Uh -huh. to, to be plus not plus. Plus going to. Going to. Plus complement base part base form. Y ahí necesitamos una un verbo ¿verdad? que nos va a indicar qué es lo que vamos a hacer. Okay, so that's the negative. So now let's check the questions. Question, yes, no questions. Vamos a ver las yes, no questions. Look at this. Uh, the same as in simple present, we invert the order. Lo mismo, vamos a invertir el orden. ¿vale? To be at the beginning. And later, you're going to add, okay, to be at the beginning, am, um, is, and are. Am I? Am I going to work? Am I going to work? Yes, you're going to work. Or yes, or, yes or no, right? Mm -hmm. Is he going to work? Yes, he's going to work. Or you give a short answer. Yes, he is. No, he is not. Let me see if I can draw something. Something like this. Okay, am I going to work? Yes, I am. No, I am not or no, I'm not. Oh, I'm not. So remember, just keep in mind this. Con las respuestas cortas afirmativas, nunca hacemos contracciones. En este caso, por ejemplo, 
Si ahí si, um, hiciera una contracción, eso sería incorrecto. Una respuesta corta no se contrae. Una negativa sí la puede encontrar. Ok, next um, part. Uh, the third form. Tenemos ahí la tercera persona. Is he, is she, is it going to work? So the answer, yes, he is, yes, she is, or yes, it is. Negative. What's the negative? No. No, he is not. Okay. No, she? She is not. Okay. No, or no. He, no. Mm -hmm. Or you can also no. use the contraction. Okay. También podemos utilizar la contracción. No, he isn't. No, she isn't. No, it isn't. Uh, are you? So let's continue with the next one. Are you going to work? Are you going to work? to work yes we we are, we are okay are we going to work yes 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 we are right yeah. remember that when we talk about you it can be two or ustedes right Acá, recuerden que eh, cuando utilizamos el pronombre you, se puede referir a una persona, pues el pronombre eh, nos da a entender que podemos hablar de una persona o de usted, ¿verdad? Tú o ustedes. Are you going to work? Yes, I am. Entonces podría ser, yes, I am. O, yes, we are. Ok, the next one. Are they going to work? Yes. Yes. Yes, they are. Okay. No. no they, they aren't. No, they aren't or no, they are not. Okay. And the same. You also have the same meanings. Predictions. Stop the car. We're going to have an accident. So look at that. That is a prediction. Probably he's driving at, at a speed that is not permitted. Intentions or plans, and going to have a drink after work. So that's my plan, right? <laughs> a drink, coffee, or chocolate, right? We are going to have an accident. Yes. Okay, nice. Any question about the structures? Any question? Preguntas, chicos? Is that clear? Yes. Okay, so now let's continue. We have some preguntas. Sí, yes. nice. Okay, so let's continue. Can you see my screen? Can you see the screen? Okay, um, listen up. I'm going to send you the link so you can uh, work with me. Les voy a compartir el enlace para que ustedes también lo vayan trabajando, lo vayan llenando. So we can work together. Let's see. Um, Oscar, please help us reading the, the following information here. Going to, future, affirmative, and negative. So okay. read the examples. Read the examples here. Okay. I'm, I'm not... He, uh, he is going to do we today are or aren't. Mm -hmm. Going we to? Going to play football. Okay, nice. So now let's continue. Uh, Elena, please read the questions. Going to future questions. Am I? Am I going to play tennis? Okay. Is he? Continue, please. Is he going to play tennis? Okay. The last one? Are you play tennis, going to play tennis. Uh -huh. Are you going to play tennis or are you going to be rich? 
Okay, and look at this. Here we have the short answer. Yes, I am. Yes, he or she is. Yes, you, we or they are. And the negatives, right? No, I'm not. No, he isn't. No, they aren't. So that is just one example. So right is going to or isn't going to. So let's look at the pictures. Picture, uh, well, we're going to check Ben. Number two. Number one says, Ben is going to go fishing. Is that true? Look at Ben's pictures. Ben is going to go fishing. So what do you think? Yes. That's true, right? Number two, he, some bait. Some bait. What's that? I don't know. What's the mean? Some bait. When you go to Costa del Sol and you start receiving the <laughs> so what do you think is true false false false, false. Mm -hmm. it's not it's not false not going to some not base going to. okay some base okay. number three he Sand, make sand castles. Sand he castles. He's not going to. Uh -huh. He's not that's going that's to that's make sand castles. Fourth, swim in the sea. Yes. He's going he's to swim in, in, in the sea. He's going to. Excellent. Very good. Let's see number, okay, Kim. So let's look at Kim's pictures. Kim, go surfing. Yes. Kim is going, is going to, to is go going surfing. To. surfing. Okay, number six, she. Oh. She is she's not happy. going to have a picnic. Uh -huh. She's not going to. Yeah. Have a big okay. Seven, she find shells. She's going to. Okay, she's, she's going, going to. Right? Yes, going, going to find shells. What are shells? What are shells? Conchas. Uh, conch 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 mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, number eight. She. She's going, going to. Go home. Okay, so complete that with me. Vayan completando también ustedes, okay? So write about your plans for the week. I'm going to, let's see, somebody mention a plan for the weekend. I'm going visit to my, my, visit visit my, my grandparents. Grandparents, okay. So I'm going to visit my grandparents. Any other example? Somebody else? I'm going to the beach. I'm going to go the to the beach. Okay, I'm going to go to the beach. Let's continue. Uh, so listening task. Can you read the instruction? Let's see. Nilton, Nilton, please help us. What is Daisy? What? Uh, read the instruction. Uh -huh. Here. Okay, what is Daisy going to do to next week? Mm -hmm. Listen and dry a line from the day to the correct picture. Where is one example? Okay, so we're going to listen and draw a line from the day to the correct picture. Example, look at this, B. On Monday, she's going to walk a dog, right? So that's okay. the activity. Uh -huh. So now, um, be ready to listen to audio. Si lo pueden hacer ahí, este, también lo pueden hacer, ¿verdad? Si no se escucha muy bien el sonido, yo les voy a compartir ahorita el sonido. Pero si no se escucha bien, <coughs> lo pueden hacer ahí con el enlace que ustedes ya tienen. Ok, so ready, ready? Hello, ready? Ready. Ok. Listening 20. What is Daisy going to do next week? 
Listen and draw a line from the day to the correct picture. There is one example. What are you going to do on Monday, Daisy? I'm going to take the dog for a walk. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. And what are you going to do on Tuesday? On Tuesday, I'm going to go to the cinema. And on Wednesday? On Wednesday, I'm going to have a barbecue in my garden. Very nice. And what are you going to do on Thursday? I'm going to play tennis with my friend John. And what are you going to do on Friday? I'm going to catch the bus to London. And I'm going to stay in a hotel on Saturday. Are you going to do anything on Sunday? No, I'm not. Okay. Do you want to listen to that again? Escuchamos de nuevo? Yes, please. I'm ready. Okay. Listening 20. What is Daisy going to do next week? Listen and draw a line from the day to the correct picture. There is one example. What are you going to do on Monday, Daisy? I'm going to take the dog for a walk. Can you see the line? <clears throat> this is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. And what are you going to do on Tuesday? On Tuesday, I'm going to go to the cinema. And on Wednesday? On Wednesday, I'm going to have a barbecue in my garden. Very nice. And what are you going to do on Thursday? I'm going to play tennis with my friend John. And what are you going to do on Friday? I'm going to catch the bus to London. And I'm going to stay in a hotel on Saturday. Are you going to do anything on Sunday? No, I'm not. Okay, so question number one. Let's see. So what is he going she to go do? The going to the cinema. The cinema. Okay, cinema, you said. <laughs> okay, galerias. <laughs> so B, um, well, the Wednesday, barbecue, what is she going barbecue, to do on Wednesday? Theater E, right? Theater E. Yes. Okay. Thursday, what is she going to Little do on C. Thursday? Little, Little C. C. She'll play tennis. She's going to play tennis. Play tennis with your friend. Mm -hmm. She's going to play tennis with her friend, with his friend, right? And how about Friday? Uh, Little oh, D. Travel to London. From London. Okay. She's going to catch, catch, tomar el bus. She's going to catch the bus to school, I think. And Saturday? What's going to happen? Uh, stay in a hotel. Little hotel. F. Little F. Okay, a letter. Letter F. 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 And on Sunday? Nothing. No, Nothing, yeah. right. Okay, very good. So now let's read and answer the following statements. Well, questions. Let's see, Alina, volunteer for Anna. Volunteer, and let's see, Veronica, help us with the first okay. one. Veronica Burgos, Anna. Okay. Hannah is going to go to the beach. She's going to go camping. She's going to sunbathe and go surfing. Okay, sunbathe in, let's see, okay. Uh, help us with Lily, let's see, we have a hand raised. Lady, lady, help us, Lily. Lily is going to visit her grandparents. She is going to go surfing. They are all going to have a barbecue. Okay, very good. Miguel, help us with Tom. Let's see, where is Miguel? Miguel? Okay, Nilton, Nilton, please help us with Tom. Hey, teacher. Uh, Tom, it's 
is not going to go to the camping. He's going to stay in a hotel. He's going to swim in, in the sea and... Sunbathe. Sunbathe, okay. Bath, uh -huh. Oscar, please help us with Jack. Jack is going to go camping. He's going to swim in a river and go fishing. Okay, nice. Now let's see who's going to go camping and swim. Jack, right? How about question two? Who's going to go camping and some bathe? Tom. 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 Okay. So mark that. Vayan marcando ustedes también ahí en su paginita. Number three. Who's going to stay in a hotel and swim? Miss. Tom. And number three is Tom. Number three is Tom. Yes. Tom, and number two? Number two is Anna. Anna, okay. Camping and some base. She's okay. going to, okay, look at this. She's going to go camping and I'm some base. Uh huh. Okay, yeah, that's true. That's Anna. How about, let's see, number four. Who's going to go surfing Lily. and have a barbecue? Barbecue. Lily. 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 Okay, Lily. So do you all agree? Yes. So, okay. So now look at the questions. We have some questions. We have to order the questions. Are they, so what follows? Are they? Go to the. Are they uh, going to? Going to the. Going to go. Camp camping. Day, okay. camping. Camping. And the question mark. Okay, well, you try to do it right. Okay, so I'm going to put it here because I don't know how to program it. Probably it's not in this page. <laughs> okay, we're going to try later. <laughs> number two. <laughs> okay, number two. Are, what do you are they? Okay. Are they going, going to stay? Mm -hmm. Going to um, I stay. Stay, okay. In a caravan. Okay, in a caravan, let's see. So what's going on with the question marks? The same problem. Well, okay, let's continue with the next one. Number three. Is going she, okay, going is. is she going to? Is she going, going to? to going to? Okay. Okay. Perfect. Let's see. No, that's not working. Yes, finally. <laughs> okay. Number. Let's see. Number four. Four. Are they going to ride bikes? Are they going to ride bikes? Bikes. To ride bikes. Awesome. No. <laughs> Number five. It's he. Is he, he, uh, is he going to? Going to. Okay. Go. Going to go fishing. Go. Mm -hmm. Fishing. Fishing, right? Go fishing. Is he going to go? And the last one, number six. 
is going to surfing. Is he going to go to surfing? Surfing. 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 Okay, let's so see. Surfing. surfing. Well, I think the only ones that have the problem with the question mark are this one. See? No. <laughs> I'm all fine with that. <laughs> Let's see, uh, number six. Look and write the answers to the questions in activity five. Look at this. Yes, they are. Yes. They so what are. do you think? Activity five. Um, Okay, activity five. Look in number one. Mm -hmm. Are they going to go camping? Yes, they are, right? Yes, they are. Question two. Uh, um, uh, are they going to stay in a caravan? <coughs> no. No, they aren't. No, they aren't. Okay. No, How about aren't. let's see three. Question three. Is she going to make sand castles? Uh is she going to yes. make sand castles? Yes, right? Yes. How about question four? Question four. Are they going to ride bikes? Um, uh, uh, yes. Yes, yes, they are. Yes, they are. How about question five? Um, is, is he going to go fishing? Fishing. Um, fishing. Yes. Yes, they are. Yes. Yes, they are. Yes, he is, right? Yes, is he yes, going he is. to? Uh -huh. It's and the key. last one yeah, is he going to go surfing? Going to surfing. Yeah, yes. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. How about him? How about him? Yes, she is. Oh, okay. how about he? He. No, he. No, he isn't, right? Okay, so let's finish that and let's see how well you did it. ¿Cuántos lo iban haciendo también? So check your results. Mm -hmm. So we have problems with with the question marks. question marks. Okay, so in this case, they needed uh, contractions, but it was not clear. Oh well. Mm -hmm. Okay, acá it needed a contractions, but we didn't check that. Okay, so we got an A. So <laughs> we need to keep improving. <laughs> okay, nice. And let's see. Let's continue, guys. Sometimes they have some problems with um with the exercises. So the thing is that they set the programs in such a way that well, probably they missed out that. Okay, let's see. We're going to continue, guys, with this. Uh, if you have your manual, so fifteen. Page 15. You there? Page 15. We're chasing and storing. Ask and give information about one's and or other's shipments. So we're going to talk a little bit about some shipments, right? So that's the class objective. Look at this. So here we have a shipping level, and we're going to check some information. So what's from. so look at this from. So who is the one sending, sending the products or the shipment? Travelers Inc. 23. So we have the address, right? Glenway, San Carlos. I think it's CA, right? 05770, made in the US. Two, where are they sending that? What are they going to send that? Literal row to literal number, number 34, 34, La Union, El Salvador, right? Tracking number. Okay, so what's the tracking number? Tracking number, el número de rastreo. Number 001210, mm -hmm. Okay, nice. How about how many units do they have? So what's the quantity? Quantity. 65 units. 65 units. Shipment. Cool. So we have a shipment. 
Seven, and the sender. El, uh -huh. A, B, H. H. Okay, and you also have the date, right? No, and the no. weight. Look at that. What's the date? 12 April. For uh, 2013. Mm -hmm. 2013. And the weight? 120 mm -hmm. 120 pounds right okay so what is the shipping address so when you transfer that with me what is the shipping address shipping address Glen uh, Way San Carlos CA uh -huh. CA five. Okay. So if you can complete that in your notebook or in the manual, se lo pueden completando en la hacienda en su, bueno, si tienen ahí la herramienta de PDF, right? If not, you can do it on your man, on your notebooks. No lo pueden hacer en el cuaderno. Okay. Uh, question two. What is the mailing address? Mailing address. Litoral. Ajá, litoral. Es que no veo. Ah, here. Litoral. Salvador. La Unión en Salvador. How many units are in the package? How many units? Five. Right. Sixty-five units. Sixty-five units. Okay. What is the manufacturing date? Manufacturing date? Twelve. For 20... 12 for 20... The 12th of April. 2013. Mm -hmm. 2013. Okay. And do we have any other question? No, right? Okay. So listen up. We're going to uh, listen to a man and a woman having a conversation mm -hmm. about renting. Okay. Okay. So what do you know about renting? Okay, so we're going to read this information. DVD movies rentals are very popular as form, as a form of fun entertainment. Others like to buy DVDs either at a store or online. Write down as many types of movies that you can. Discuss your preference for each type of movie. So what are your preferences about movie, guys? Love. So, what are some movies that you like, or that you can't stand, or that you hate, or that you don't like, that you can stand watching that movies? Horror movies. No, I don't like. Romantic. Yes. Yes. Okay. Comedy Sorry. movies. Comic. Comic. Okay. Yes. Comedy movies. How about? Okay. Action. Action. action movies. Okay. Mention one action movie. Thanks. Yes. Action movies. No. Sci fi. Do you like sci fi movies? Science fiction. Science fiction movies. Do you like science fiction movies? Avatar or things like that. Star Wars. Yes, I like. Uh huh. Okay, so now give me an example. I love horror movies. I don't like romantic movies. I can stand comedy movies. So what's the meaning? I can stand comedy movies. No support, right? I can stand. Comedy movies and I hate, right? Action movies. Tell me, let's see, Elena. So, what are your preferences about movies? Horror movies? Mm, horror movies. Uh huh. So, do you like horror movies or you can't stand horror movies? Uh, I love. You love horror movies. How about you, Rafael? Uh, is science fiction um, 
Um, in comedy movies. Comedy movies. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Um, I have a question. Let's see for Nilton. How about you, Nilton? What are your preferences about movies? Uh, me too. Uh, uh, science, science fiction movies. Science fiction. Science fiction. Okay, or you can say sci-fi, sci-fi movies, sci-fi movies. Okay, nice. So now let's continue. We will continue with this. Uh, we also have an idiom. Look at this, movie buff. Someone who knows a lot of, about a lot about movies. If you want to know anything about the movie industry, ask Phil. He's a really a real movie buff. So when you know a lot about movies, that's an idiom. Okay, movie buff. Are you movie buff, guys? Are you a movie buff? Let's see, Oscar, are you a movie buff? What do you say? Movie buff. Someone who knows a lot about movies. Both, um... Yes, no? Uh, no, I like the action movie. But you don't know a lot. Okay. Uh, Okay, so we're going to have this listening task. I want you to pay close attention to that. And we're going to answer the questions later on. Okay, so you ready to listen? Yes. Ready, and I want to know what kind of movies you like. Okay, what kind of movies do you have in mind? Well, what about action movies? I don't really like action movies. Too much violence. Okay, do you like comedies? Now, I do enjoy comedies. Fine. Well, what do you think of horror movies or love stories? Um, I'm not really crazy about horror movies, but love stories are often fun to watch. Oh, and I really like foreign films, too. Okay, I'll go to the video store and see what I can find. Thanks. Okay, do you want to listen to that again? Yes, please. Okay. Okay, please. Hey, Kathy, I'm thinking about renting a movie for tonight's party, and I want to know what kind of movies you like. Okay, what kind of movies do you have in mind? Well, what about action movies? I don't really like action movies. Too much violence. Okay, do you like comedies? Now, I do enjoy comedies. Fine. Well, what do you think of horror movies or love stories? Um, I'm not really crazy about horror movies, but love stories are often fun to watch. Oh, and I really like foreign films, too. Okay, I'll go to the video store and see what I can find. Thanks. Hey, Kathy, I'm thinking about renting a movie for tonight's party, and I want to know what kind of movies you like. Okay. What kind of movies do you have in mind? Well, what about action movies? I don't really like action movies. Too much violence. Okay. Do you like comedies? Now, I do enjoy comedies. Fine. Well, what do you think of horror movies or love stories? Um, I'm not really crazy about horror movies, but love stories are often fun to watch. Oh, and I really like foreign films, too. Okay. I'll go to the video store and see what I can find. Okay, so what do you think about here? So does she love action movies? Like, dislike. Dislike. Dislike, right? Action movies. How about comedy movies? Dislike. 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 Okay, <laughs> well. Dislike. And I don't really oh. like action movies. Uh, let's see. Oh, well, I check the same, right? Action movies. Okay. And how about horror movies? Dislike. Dislike. Like. How about, let me see. Next like. one, love movies. She likes, she loves like. the movies and foreign movies. Like. like. Like, right? She loves that kind of movies. Okay, nice book. So now let's see. So we'll watch a video. Okay, so the instruction is the following. Watch this video and answer the questions. Then read the script at the bottom of the page. Okay, be ready for this one. Hi, I'm Randall. The U.S. Mail Service is still an important part of the communication system here in the United States. And in our area, mail is delivered between Monday and Saturday. On our street, it's usually delivered between 1 and 3 p.m. And if you want to seize the red flag, 
Our particular family uh, sends it usually at the post office. One thing I still enjoy about receiving mail are cards from family and friend, and you don't get that personal touch from sending and receiving email. Okay, do we play that again? Yes, right? Pay close attention to the video. Hi, I'm Randall. The U.S. Mail Service is still an important part of the communication system here in the United States and in our area. Mail is delivered between Monday and Saturday. On our street, it's usually delivered between 1 and 3 p.m. And if you want to send a piece of mail, you can stick it in your mailbox and raise the red flag. Our particular family uh, sends it usually at the post office. One thing I still enjoy about receiving mail are cards from family and friend, and you don't get that personal touch from sending and receiving email. Okay, so let's see. Let's look at the questions. How often is the mail delivered in Randall's area? So what do you think? Six days a week, seven days a week, or five days a week? Six days a week. Six a week. Six days a week? Yes. Okay, so let's check that one. Correct, awesome. In our area, mail is delivered between Monday and Saturday. That's correct. How does Randall send his mail? At the post office, from his mailbox, from a local store? Post office. Post office. office. Yes. The rest, yes, post office. Okay, so let's check. Yeah, yeah. Office. Correct. Okay. Our particular family uh, sends it mail usually at the post office. Randall's enjoys receiving regular letters sent through the postal service because they're more personal, exciting, and convenient. Um, Okay, so we're going, we can play that again. Okay, so let's, yeah, that's the last question. So I can play it. Okay, so here we go. Hi, I'm Randall. The U.S. Mail Service is still an important part of the communication system here in the United States and in our area. Mail is delivered between Monday and Saturday. On our street, it's usually delivered between 1 and 3 p.m. And if you want to send a piece of mail, you can stick it in your mailbox and raise the red flag. Our particular family uh, sends it usually at the post office. One thing I still enjoy about receiving mail are cards from family and friend, and you don't get that personal touch from sending and receiving email. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do you think? Personal, exciting, or convenient? Personal. Okay. Correct, right? So it says, one thing I still enjoy about receiving mail or cards from family and friends, and you don't get that personal touch from sending and receiving mail. Okay, so let's. Okay, and we're going to finish with this. Um, put the words in order, then answer the question. So what is the question in here? Question. Uh -huh. Question one. Ah, okay. So we start a double H question. Uh -huh. yeah. We're going to start a double H question with. Where are they? Uh -huh. Where are they? Going to. Going to pick up. Pick up. Pick up the package. package. Pick up. Pick up the package. The package. Okay, package. Pick up the package. Question two. Who? Who? Please, please, please going, going to, to receive the shipping. Receive the shipping. The shipping. Okay. And question three. When, when is going to receive the new material? Arrive, arrive, arrive the new arrive material. New material. When is the new material? When is the no no, no. no. It, when when is when going is to going to arrive the new matter arrive the new matter 
Okay, material, material. Material, material, material. Okay, so let's try to answer these questions. Okay, where are they going to pick up the package? So let's try to uh, match that with the previous conversation. Well, I mean, with the level that we started at the beginning, where are they going to pick up the package? La Union, right? La Union. So do you remember that? Let's see, let's try to move this a little bit. So do you have the chart? Tienes en el cuadrito todavía. So let me move this. Okay. What are they going to pick up the package? Literal road. Mm -hmm. Literal road. Town thirty four. La Unión. Okay. 34, La Unión, right? Who's going to receive the shipping? Have us in 23. Well, we don't have that information, right? Well, how about when is going to arrive the new material? Not day. Not date, but probably we don't, well, we don't have that information in here. Let's see. Well, we don't have that information, but give me some ideas. So who's going to receive the shipping? Any idea? Think about one company. Who's going to receive the shipping? Mm -hmm. Maybe the song. Mm. Uh-huh. DHL. Yes. DHL. Uh, post office. Where are they going to pick up the package? Okay. Well, the post office, or probably you can uh, talk, well, the um, post office, or probably a company. When is going to arrive the new material? Any idea? Going to arrive when? Arrive. Oh. Um. To, uh, tomorrow in two days. Said. Next week, for example. These are just some examples for you to answer. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see, I'm going to pass attendance list last time and then we're done. Okay. Pregunta, chicos, ¿cómo vamos con eh, la plataforma? He estado revisando, pero todavía me hacen falta algunos que se pongan al día con la segunda tarea y la tercera. ¿Cómo vamos? The lady, dígame. Miss, yo tengo una pregunta. Eh, había entendido de que se trabajaba siempre el, las actividades que aparecen en la plataforma, pero tengo dudas sobre el libro. Bueno. ¿El libro? Ajá, estos se mandan cada cuánto tiempo, porque yo no he trabajado en el libro. Solo las actividades que he hecho eh, después de clase. He hecho tres, pero no sé qué más me falta. La plataforma, la de la plataforma. Dios. Gracias. Ok, sí, en la plataforma y estuve viendo el avance y aparece como, creo que seis, pero me imagino que es por lo, las tres actividades que he completado. Sí, sí, porque como son cinco, al final le tienen que salir el, el 100% de la semana. Bueno, un porcentaje. Eh, uh -huh. Pero este, vaya, el, el manual es el libro complementario que vamos utilizando con cada clase, ¿verdad? Ahí está lo, la parte de gramática que se ve. Y se ve toca alguna parte de, de lo que viene ahí. Eh, lo que sí necesitamos es que usted tenga completa la plataforma eh, al finalizar de cada semana para revisar que ustedes vayan trabajando los ejercicios eh, que vamos viendo de las estructuras gramaticales. En la plataforma sí deben de tener completo cada tarea, sin faltar ninguna. ¿no? Porque ya los lo del libro pues son algunos que presentamos incluso acá en clase. Entonces sí me interesa mucho que trabajemos en la plataforma. 
forma. Vamos trabajando después de cada clase, tomas unos 10 minutos o, o en algún Ajá. proceso y la, y la realiza. Si tiene preguntas también, me consulten para apoyarle. O si hay algún ejercicio que necesite alguna modificación. O si más ¿Qué? Todo bien, todo claro. Si quieren no, ir a mí, si, Siempre la misma, eh, <risa> con respecto al libro. Eh, ah, con respecto al libro, ¿se tiene que hacer en la plataforma o hay que imprimir el manual y trabajarlo eh, manualmente? Pues? Y escanearlo, ah, o, o cómo se hace esa, esa descarga de la plataforma del, del, del manual. El manual no lo tiene usted, ¿verdad? Todavía. No. Ah, vaya, eso se lo podemos compartir a través de WhatsApp, pero está en la plataforma también. No, el libro, sí. el libro es un complemento, un complemento que vamos desarrollando clase a clase. Eh, lo puede descargar, lo puede imprimir o lo puede trabajar en línea, no hay problema. Esos son ejercicios complementarios. Lo que sí es indispensable es que vaya trabajando este, la plataforma. Porque ahí sí, al final le va a sumar... Día con las tareas. Ah, perfecto. Uh -huh. Porque recuerden que al final pues, les va a sumar ahí todo lo que, lo que han hecho. Y también ahí es muy importante ahí con la, con, con la plataforma. Igual este, también el, el libro, pues ustedes mándenme los ejercicios. Porque sí me gusta que lo vayan trabajando ahora la parte de gramática. ¿sí? Para ver que pues, se van asimilando por la estructura. Entonces, semana a semana. Al final de cada semana, pues, mándame las primeras actividades. Más que todo, pues, los ejercicios de gramática. Ok. Bueno, no sé si hay alguna otra pregunta. Ok, bien. Entonces, seguimos. Pasamos la asistencia. The last time and we're done. Let's see. Ana Marlene Andrade de Osorio. Está por ahí en camino. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Present, Miss. Present. Thank you. Verónica. Blanca Isabel Tunaca. Present, Miss. Thank you. Blanca Isabel. Blanca Luz Delgado. Present. Thank you. Carlos Miguel Umaña. Presente. Thank you. Miguel. Carlos Roberto Argueta. Carlos Roberto Argueta. Carmen Elena Moratalla. Present. Thank you, Elena. Carmen Guadalupe Galvez. Clelia Estela Flores de Molina. Present. Thank you. Daniel Alberto Ramos Osorio. Diana Maribel Hueso Portillo. Present. Thank you. Fernando Salvador Figueroa. Present. Thank you, Fernando. Jorge Luis Castaneda. Juan Ezequiel Rivera Lemos. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Present. Thank you, Cesar. Lady Joana Hernández. Present. Thank you. Nilton Alexander Vázquez. Present. Thank you, Nilton. Oscar René Molina. Present teacher. Thank you, Oscar. Rafael Antonio Hernández. Present teacher. Ok. Rosa de Los Ángeles Enríquez. Present teacher. Thank Hay you, Rosa. dos que dijeron present en el mensaje. Sí, pero creo que es por el eh, problema de conexión que es. se escucha un poquito más retardado. Ok, Verónica Elizabeth Burgos. Ok, bien. Y este día nos quedamos en una sesión de uno a uno con Blanca Luz Delgado. Y si hay alguien más que tenga preguntas, pues se queda. Ok. Thank you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Ok. Tomorrow. Have a great night. Bye bye. Good night. Thank you, tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Tomorrow. See you guys. Good Have a great night. Good night. See you. Muy bien, eh, Blanca, vamos a ver, aquí estamos con Blanca. Questions, Blanca. Preguntas hasta el momento de algún tema que le gustaría reforzar o, este, o de la clase de hoy. El... Fíjense que going, going to me gustaría de, de reforzar. Going to, ok. Ajá. Sí, no hay problema. Es, no, ¿sabes? Pues que a veces siento que no es suficiente tiempo. <ríe> Vamos a ver. Ah, por aquí. Ok. Solamente me indica si ya ve mi pantalla. Sí, ahorita.
Ok, veamos acá. ¿Cómo formamos los enunciados? O, sí, preguntas y respuestas con going to. Estamos siempre la estructura. Afirmativo, negativo y preguntas. Acá. No, el, going to, el going to, digamos que es... Voy a. Voy a. Uh -huh. Ajá, ese, es, okay. ese es el significado. Voy a. Yo voy a hacer tal cosa. Es un uso especial con going to. Para hablar de planes y de intenciones. Esos son los dos usos que estudiamos este día. Y la estructura es subject. Después necesitamos la forma conjugada del verbo to be. Cada uno de, dependiendo ¿verdad? de cada uno de los sujetos que tengamos acá. El am. Luego el going to. You are going to. She is going to. We're not. Aquí tenemos la olla negativa. ¿verdad? We're not going to and they are not going to. Luego necesitamos un verbo principal, un verbo en su forma base. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Um, I'm going to travel. I'm going to cook. I'm going to... Vamos a poner un ejemplo. I'm going to... I'm going to cook. I'm going to eat. I'm going to drink coffee, for example. I'm going to visit somebody. A visitar a alguien. I'm going to write an essay, for example. Pero en general, lo, los usos que vamos a utilizar con el going to nos indican una intención o un plan o también puede ser una predicción. Una predicción puede ser... Eh, Basado en algo que yo he visto. I'm going to pass the module, for example. Voy a pasar el módulo. ¿Por cuáles son mis evidencias? Mis buenas notas. I'm going to pass the module. I got... The grades, this module. Uh, obtuve buenos eh, puntajes de este módulo. Esa es mi evidencia. Eso es lo que me respalda. Por lo que yo puedo decir que voy a pasar. Eso es una... Pre predicción. Una predicción basado en algo que yo conozco, que yo observo, que yo sé. ¿verdad? Ahora bien, también teníamos el segundo uso. Era un plan o una intención. Cuando hablamos de un plan, estamos hablando de algo que usted va a realizar o que tiene la intención de hacer en el futuro. Es por eso que ahí dice future. I'm going to, to buy the house, puede, puede ser. Uh, I'm going to buy a house. Yo he estado. Saving money. Estaba guardando dinero, ahorrando dinero. For a long time. Ahorrando dinero por mucho tiempo. Entonces, aquí yo hablo también con un fundamento. Entonces, tengo un plan, comprar una casa. Porque he estado ahorrando dinero. Entonces, aquí yo veo que hay una base también. Que, es, eh, que si voy a pasar el módulo es porque... Obtuve buenas calificaciones. Mi plan es comprar una casa. Porque está ahorrando dinero. No tengo una, una base o tengo un fundamento. ¿Qué más podría ser? Y ahí pues solo lo vamos conjugando con... Es, depende del sujeto que vamos utilizando. She's going to... Yo tengo una pregunta. ¿Mm? Vaya, como cuando a un verbo se le pone ING, es endo, ando, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Si yo quiero, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, como agregarle a la oración esa, por ejemplo. Going to, voy a. ¿verdad? Si yo digo, yo voy a estar cocinando. Pueden ir las dos, los dos verbos con ING. 
but she is going to, to be cooking. Uh -huh. Es que ahí cocinando ya no sería un verbo, ya no sería un verbo, sería un gerundio en este caso. Voy a estar cocinando, sería un sustantivo. Pero se puede, se pueden agregar así esas dos palabras. Ajá, pero tendría que, vaya, pero acá hay un nexo que es estar. ¿Qué es lo que voy a estar haciendo? She's going to be cooking. Por ejemplo, at the party. Ella va a estar cocinando en la fiesta. Pero el significado es lo mismo, ¿verdad? Un plan o una... Sí, un plan. Ella va a estar cocinando. Pero acá este cooking no, no está haciendo función de verbo, está haciendo función de un sustantivo, de la acción de, 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 la acción de cocinar, ¿verdad? Okay. Acá lo que estoy diciendo es que lo que voy a estar haciendo, she's going to be cooking, ella va a estar, el verbo estar, ese sería mi, este, este be sería el, el, como la base, y él va a estar cocinando. Okay. Uh -huh. Pero, eh, a lo mejor usted lo ha asociado con el presente continuo. Como recordamos, este Big Going To tiene esos dos usos especiales para hablar de futuro y para hablar de planes, de predicciones o intenciones. Ahora si yo digo, she's drinking water, y está tomando agua. agua. Pero, ajá, pero este es un presente progresivo, participio, como le quieran llamar, presente progresivo, continuo, o ajá, present participle. Eso, a, eso, a eso nos referimos cuando nosotros estamos hablando de una acción que está sucediendo en este momento. Ella está tomando agua. Entonces ahí mi, lo que yo quiero expresar es que la acción está sucediendo ahorita. Ella está tomando agua. ¿A dónde está Marta? Ah, she's drinking water. Está tomando agua. Uh -huh. Ajá, que eso es lo, donde me confundo un poco. Uh -huh. No, recuerde que ese going to. Uh, es para el futuro. Ajá, es para indicar. O sea, una predicción o un plano. Un una plan. uh -huh. Ajá. Vaya. Ahora, si yo le digo, ¿a dónde vas? Where are you going? ¿A dónde vas? I'm going to the store. I am going to the store. Voy a la tienda. Voy a la tienda. En este caso, si yo estoy utilizando este going to, nada más como en presente progresivo. O sea, no estoy... Acá no lo estoy utilizando para decir este, un plan oh, o una función yeah. o una... Ah, puede ser, un, puede ser una, un plan, ¿verdad? Pero en realidad no estoy pensando en eso. Solamente estoy indicando que voy a la tienda, voy caminando a la tienda. Pero siempre sería voy. Ah, voy a la tienda. Entonces, yeah. en este caso, sí, digamos que lo estoy utilizando como un progresivo. ¿Qué estás haciendo? Ah, what, are you, what are you going? ¿A dónde vas? la tienda, voy a la tienda, pero eh, usualmente si going to es para, o sea, si le, lo que le quiero decir es que lo puedo utilizar así, ¿verdad? Con, también con presente continuo, si fuera este caso, ¿verdad? ¿A dónde vas? Um, where is she? Sí. What is she doing? She's doing her homework. Lo que le quiero decir es que si going to, en este caso lo estamos utilizando como un presente continuo. Sin embargo, cuando yo hablo de una intención, de un plan, yo ya armé ese plan, ¿verdad? Tengo una base o algo que hice anteriormente, por ejemplo, ahorrar, por ejemplo, estudiar estudiar para pasar un examen entonces debe haber una evidencia predicción con evidencia basada en algo que usted observa por ejemplo va a chocar verdad look David is going to crash against that tree va a chocar contra ese árbol pero este be going to sí este tiene esa, esa particularidad verdad que 
si a veces confunde que ay, entonces no, es, no tiene el endo y el ano. Podría ser así como lo vimos en el ejemplo, ¿verdad? pero usualmente es para indicar un plan, para indicar una predicción basado siempre en una evidencia o en una decisión que usted ya tomó. ¿Eh? Tal es el caso de este de abajo. ¿verdad? Es una intención futura. O algo antes de, de hablar, ¿verdad? Algo que ya ha sido planeado o ha sido tomado una decisión antes. Entonces, no es que solo dijo, oh, I'm going to study. ¿No? Ya tiene una idea, ¿verdad? Porque es que le gusta, porque eh, me estuvo estudiando para un examen. Y probablemente la, necesitaba ese examen para viajar y estudiar en otro lugar. Por, por ejemplo, voy a estudiar en Harvard. Para estudiar, digamos, para tomar una decisión así, debe de haber, debe de haber algunas cosas hechas antes. ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, tener un examen aprobado, un examen de inglés, digamos, si vive en un país extranjero, que tener un examen que lo acredite, que, es, que puede hablar inglés, por ejemplo, o entre otros requisitos. Entonces debe de, de haber algo, algo más hecho antes con antelación. Entonces, pero yo ya tomé esa decisión. Pero, ajá, sí, es que sí, yo, yo le comprendo lo del presente continuo, pero el presente continuo es pues, más que todo con los otros, pero sí puede indicar también going, pero en el caso de que yo estoy viendo ah, que alguien va saliendo de mi casa, ¿para dónde vas? Ah, I'm going to the, I'm going to the supermarket. Pues el super. Y en ese sentido es continuo. O probablemente eh, también podría ser una intención o un plan. Entonces este es el uso especial de Be Going To en este caso. Uh -huh. No sé si hay alguna otra pregunta. Ahí con eso. La duda te que he tenido en ocasión ahora que usted más si no le escucho que eran las, la, las dudas que tenía yo con respecto a, a eso uh -huh. sí es que solamente recuerden que ese big y tú lo vas a utilizar para hablar de futuro para hablar de uh -huh. futuro incluso este incluso bueno no sé si lo han visto pero incluso con el presente continuo se puede hablar de futuro um, ya le no sé. Se ve ahí, sí, se sí, ve. Sí. Ah, ahorita no, el blanco. Sí, por ejemplo. Ajá, uh -huh, En presente continuo, lo progresivo también se puede hablar de, puede hablar del futuro. I'm visiting my mom next week. ¿Cuándo la voy a visitar? La próxima semana. Y no está utilizando el big going to. Claro, el big going to es una forma de hablar del futuro. Eh, o dar una predicción, ¿no? O, o hablar de un plano de intención, pero también el presente progresivo eh, me puede indicar una acción que va a suceder en el futuro. Aquí no dice estoy visitando, aquí dice voy a visitar a mi mamá la próxima semana. Pero, aquí depende, digamos, si yo le quito acá. Creo que se me, se me escucha que me queda corta ahí mi oración. Entonces podría eh, preguntar. What are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo? Estoy visitando a mi mamá. Pero en este caso sí me está hablando de una acción en progreso. Entonces, si yo digo, I'm visiting, pero claro, ahí tendríamos que, 
agregar una time expression. Para indicar eso. I'm visiting my mom tomorrow. No la visitaré mañana. Voy a visitar a mi mamá mañana. Entonces, no sé si han, han visto esa parte, pero también se puede utilizar así. Nada más el be going to, compréndalo como una forma para hablar de, de planes y del futuro. Pero también se podría hacer con, con los otros verbos, con presente progresivo. Pero usualmente es para hablar de acciones temporales o en progreso. Por ejemplo, podría decir, I'm working, uh, I'm working uh, at a company this uh, week. Estoy trabajando en una empresa esta semana, porque no sé qué va, o este mes, no sé qué va a pasar el siguiente mes. Probablemente es un contrato temporal. Entonces es una acción temporal. Eso es con el presente progresivo. Es una acción temporal. Tiene varios usos el progresivo. Puede ser para hablar de futuro, puede ser para hablar de una acción temporal o puede ser para hablar de una este, la otra, acción en progreso. Ahí solo con eso tenemos tres usos de presente progresivo. El be going to, si tiene esta particularidad, es para el futuro. Pero depende, depende cómo, cómo se ha estructurado su oración también. Se puede cambiar un poquito su significado. Y bueno, ahí sería quizás agregando los, los conect, las time expressions. <ríe> Yo creo que... <ríe> Hola, ¿está por ahí todavía? Sí, aquí estoy. A ver, a ver. Entonces, eh, bueno, eso quizás sería todo respecto a eso, pero, pero no sé. ¿Le podría compartir algún material adicional para que para hacerlo ah. practicar, ¿no? Ajá, sí. Sí, sí, me parece. Ok, de acuerdo, entonces, bueno, nos quedamos hasta acá, Blanca, y nos vemos mañana. Bueno, gracias. Ok, thank okay. you, have a great night. Okay.